Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe with this uh, global pandemic. It's hard times, you know, people aren't shooting, or some people aren't shooting. But um, yeah, during these times, I hope everyone's just staying safe and, uh, and are well, and we can just bounce back as a photography community. But um, here we just got a little throwback BTS. Uh, nothing like long, just it was just a quick uh, shoot that I did uh, last year in the studio and um yeah this, as usual i'm using the same gear as i always use i'm using a canon eos rp with the young Euro 35 in this bit and obviously i did use the 85 uh, make lens obviously everything again everything i use will be in the description uh, below and uh this sort of um edit is a little bit different than i usually do i just keep everything everything quite clean as um, it's very uh, sort of limited what you could do here. The lighting wasn't great. As you can see, those top, those are light panels and that one little window is literally the only natural light you, you, that came into the window. So um, I didn't want to go too crazy with the editing. And as I've shot here quite a lot, it was quite, it's quite good to uh, shoot in sort of a limited space or somewhere that you've shot quite a lot because it then kind of triggers your triggers your sort of instincts to find new angles and maybe pose the model a bit different change up the lighting it kind of motivates you to just do something different like you know what i mean think outside of the box than you usually do and i like putting myself in these sort of situations so um you can get different looks different feels you're going to edit it differently just so you're just you don't get stagnant as a photographer and you're trying to get stuck or you just find it as shooting a chore when you get to that certain point i know that i've definitely been there so i like these sort of settings that kind of challenges me to to get to my more creative side and just find uh, new ways to shoot really also helps that um the model here she's very 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 experienced as you can tell she just does like a lot of extravagant poses and stuff like that so it kind of makes it easier you don't have to you can direct and you can like suggest but it makes your life a lot easier especially if you're new or you're hobbyist or you're generally um not that great at direction as even me i've been doing this nearly 10 years and i'm still absolutely rubbish at direction so for me having a model that literally just compose snap 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 and every every snap um it's a different pose and stuff like that it really does boost uh both performances from the photographer and the model but uh, if you are going stir crazy just like I am not being able to shoot I definitely will have some more travel shoots for you I had so many planned this year but obviously Corona had other ideas for me <laughs> but um, after this I definitely have a lot of lot of plans I should be going to uh, Bali Thailand Italy Spain that the list goes on and hopefully I want to try to go to Bali next with a bunch of great great models that you haven't seen on the channel yet so um, yeah definitely excited for that I definitely want to stick around let me know what you want, want me to sort of cover next I've been getting a few DMs um, I'll probably do a video next of uh, I've just obviously just reached 10k followers on Instagram as well to pat myself on the back there but um, yeah I'll definitely uh, sort of give some sort of advice on um, just that as well Instagram and how to work that DMing models maybe I'll just do a, a general video but guys yeah let me know what you think in the description below and if you see any of my sort of uncensored art um, the link will be the, the first link in the description so you can check that out and uh, yeah catch you guys in the next video